Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss Object Oriented Programming, OOB, Simple Class, Creation, Composition, and Class Instance. Object Oriented Programming, OOB. Python uses classes to define new data type, which is object. The class composed of header statement plus the class body which contains an instant EF statement plus define methods that can be called on any instances of the objects implemented by this class. Class header which is the first line class my class object. We should name class by camel case which represented by Every word of uh, the class contains the first letter in upper case. EF show self. This is the defined statement or DF which contains the instance of the class. Print high. The class body. DF check x equal my class x dot show check. This is the defined method which is uh, the class body. Class attributes. The attribute defined in the class is called class attributes. Class my class age equal 21. My class dot age we will get 21. An instance. An instance attributes. The, the attribute defined in the function is called an instance attributes. Class my class in common case df age age equal 21 my class dot age we will get 21 class instance so when creating an instance method the first parameter is always self and we can call it self by any other name it's recommended to use self as it is a naming convention class my class object num equal 5 df rating self print hello my object equal my class print my object dot num we will get 5 my object dot greeting we will get hello we will jump into Jupyter notebook to create a simple class and give more explanation let's go We will create a simple class, so we will type class class C L A S S. Then we will name our uh, class in common case. Suppose we have user data class user. user data class then type pass and this assembly class doesn't do anything and doesn't return anything because it uh, doesn't have any attributes we will type our attributes first cancel pass then if we want to create attributes to this class we will use DF statement as follow. Using special method, we will talk about it uh, next lecture in details. Then we will pass any parameters we want to use. DF show open parentheses, close parentheses, column. We will pass our attributes, which is uh, print i. Then we will define 
uh, the function that we will call uh, the class right you have to check x equal user let equal user data x dot so then we will call the check function check method shift and enter this error means that we have to add a parameter for the argument print high so we will add that parameter which is self and we get the result of the class which is high thanks for watching see you next lecture object oriented programming oob the constructor the constructor method a class can define method with special name these names begin and end with a double underscore one important special name is underscore underscore init underscore underscore it's a tractor for the class. It's called each time an instance of the class is created and implementing this method in a class gave us a chance to initialize each instance of our class. We will use Jupyter Notebook for coding a class of user data have the init method which is constructor and two parameters. Suppose it will be the name and age of the user. So we will initialize our variable age and name as follow. Class. C L A S S. User data in camel case. So user, the first letter U capital. And data the first letter is D capital. Open parenthesis, close parenthesis, column, enter, H equal zero, and name equal none. Then we'll use the define method to create the class body. Define df double underscore init double underscore self name and age column enter self dot name equal name and self dot age equal age finally we will use define methods to call the class via its instances define the same level of identification of uh, the first define method user self then we will type print for example username 
sorry user with capital u user name is two curly brackets and has Two curly brackets. Years old. Full stop. Then double quotes dot format self dot name. and self dot h we will add users to this class user1 equal as we explained in the last lecture user data open parenthesis close parenthesis sarah comma 40 and enter five different users as follow two will be for example David and 50 Three will be, for example, John and thirty. User four will be Kate and twenty. User five, for example, will be Peter and 15 then shift and enter then we will check type of user 1 will be main user data this is means that it is a part of a class called user data the same for the rest of users then we will uh, check user two dot h shift and enter we will get 50 user three dot name we will get john suppose we want to calculate the user's average age we will create a function will do that df avg underscore h open uh, parenthesis close parenthesis column return user1 dot h plus user two dot h plus user three dot h plus user four dot h plus user five dot h sorry return so return user one dot h user two dot h user three dot h user four dot h user five dot h divided by five the number of users 
then we will call that function avg underscore h we will get 31 so the average age of the users is 31 and also we can get more information from our class as follow user one dot user the second function in our class click shift and enter we will get username is Sarah and has 40 years old so can get any information from our class through its body and instances and define methods we will define another class called rectangle and through its instances we will calculate the area of the rectangle through the define method c l a s s rectangle enter e f double underscore in it double underscore self length and width column self dot length equal length self dot length equal length so we will refer instances to the parameters of the init method also for width of the rectangle then define another method ef rect area which is the body of the class rectangle we will use to calculate the area of the rectangle self the same instance of the class return self dot length multiply by self dot width then we will define our rectangles rect underscore one equal rec rectangle rectangle class 50 and 30 then rectangle 2 equal rectangle 140 and 60 rectangle 3 equal rectangle class 120 and 70 rectangle 4 equal rectangle 100 and 80 click shift and enter and check for rectangle 1 dot tab length or rect area or width we will check for length click shift and enter we will get 50 rectangle 2 for example to dot tab check for width we will get 60 rectangle underscore 3 rect underscore 3 dot tab we will get uh, three choices we will choose rect area shift and enter 
bound method rectangle dot area main this because we don't add it the open and the close parentheses of the method we will get 8400 then we will check for rectangle for type type open parenthesis rectangle for rect4 close parenthesis shift and enter in dot rectangle this is means that rectangle 4 is a part of rectangle class suppose we want to get the average area of all rectangles we will type print open parenthesis rect underscore one dot tab rect area open parenthesis close parenthesis to the rect underscore four from rect underscore one to the rect underscore four divided by the number of rectangles that we have in our class we will get six thousand five hundred seventy five thank you for watching see you next lecture Magical Dunder Methods Dunder Methods Dunder Methods is used with constructor which is the init method Example underscore underscore len underscore open parenthesis close parenthesis and uh, underscore double underscore stir or string double underscore open parenthesis close parenthesis we use these methods for specific functions like if we want to print an object we can do that by using any method alone but we use double underscore string double underscore open parenthesis close parenthesis method alone and if we want to calculate the length of an object we use double underscore len double underscore open parenthesis close parenthesis method let's try that in the init method from the last video we have class data user df init self name and age self dot name equal one name self dot age equal age user underscore one equal data user mustafa and 16 user underscore 2 data user tamer and 36 we have this class let's print user 1 print user 1 we will get that the object in the memory of our class main data user is the memory of our class data user Len of our user one we will get type error our object of type data user has no lens what we can do to me to print our user and measure the lens we will use magical dunder methods and with the constructor let's go and do that let's put our magic string method here df double underscore string self close parenthesis column enter return f 10 dot f user name is um curly bracket cross curly bracket and the has um curly bracket close the curly bracket Years 
Dot for me. Self name. Self dot name. Self dot age. Self dot age. EF double underscore LEN double underscore self return self dot H shift and enter. Then we will print user one it will be printed so easy no problem the, we will calculate the length of user one we will get 16 also we will do that for user two Print user two. Print user two. Shift and enter. Username is Tamer and has thirty six years old. And length of user two thirty six. Thank you for watching. See you next lecture. Inheritance. Inheritance allows us to create a general or basic class and reuse and extend it to more and other classes. Also it allows us to make our Python code more efficient. Inheritance example, let's create super class and two classes as example. Fruits class stimulate fruits super class banana subclass of the super class fruit apple is subclass of uh, super class fruits. Let's open our Jupyter notebook. Add the last uh, code we use in uh, the constructor video class, which is uh, class user data age equal zero name equal none double yes. underscore in it double underscore self name and age self dot name equal name self dot age equal age we want to create another class called phone number class phone num df underscore underscore double underscore in it double underscore open parenthesis self and num then self dot num equal num we want to use the first class and the second class in parallel line we can do that without inheritance. So we will use inheritance and avoid repetition in code. Inheritance is easy to understand. You could uh, think about it as a preventive for repetition in code. So class phone num will inherit data from user data. Will inherit uh, methods from class user data. So class phone num user data df in it self and num we will add the two, two parameter name and age beside num then we will add this uh, line of code super which is user data dot double underscore in it double underscore name and each we will assign our users to the second class which inherit methods of the first class user data 
user underscore one equal phone num Sara forty one two three four five six seven eight nine. So the class phone number inherit name and age from the first class user data. Suppose we want to inherit from user data and modify that inheritance. User, suppose we have user2 equal David and 50. Want to update that user? We will use overriding property. User two equal phone number David sixty two three four five six seven. Click shift and enter. This will change the age of David. User to dot each. We will get sexy. So this is called overriding the super class or the parent class. User one, we will use phone number class to update the username the username and age user underscore one equal Sarah and fourteen user underscore one equal phone uh, number John fifteen and nine eight seven six five four three two one. For example, select shift and enter user one equal user one dot name. We'll get John. So we update uh, user1 in name and age and phone number. Let's try to extract user1.h. We'll get 15. Also for user1. Dot phone number. We will get the phone number 9876543. Two, one. Thank you for watching. See you next lecture. Encapsulation. Encapsulation. Encapsulation is one of the properties of OOB objective oriented programming, which enables us to hide the internal part of the object. So developers get benefits as following. Easy to use an object without knowing what is inside the object. Code a change can be easily noticed and measured. Encapsulation provides us the mechanism of restriction, the access of to some uh, of the object's components. We can access to data through special methods, getter and setter. We will open our Jupyter Notebook. Let's go. Let's open Jupyter Notebook and code as follow. We will create a class called my class plus then we will set our innocence and the parameter df set h self and num and refer the instance of the class to the parameter self dot h equal num and finally, 
We will define the getter method for the parameter. df get age return self dot age. Then we will assign an object to the class which is name. Sara equal my class and will set the age of Sara. Sara Sara dot dot set age forty. Then we'll print the age of Sara. Print Sara dot get age. This error because we uh, don't refer the self instance to the getter method. We should do that self. Then we will get 40. Sarah dot set age 40. Sarah dot get age. As you see, we can use setter and getter methods to import and get data to our class. Thank you for watching. See you next lecture. Hi everyone. Welcome back. In this lecture, we will talk about multiple inheritance. Multiple inheritance like single or one-time inheritance, but we will uh, make uh, our class inherit from more than one class. For example, if we have a class called fruit, which contain df init method self and season and color self dot season equal season self dot color equal color and the class fruit name df init uh, self and name self dot name equal name and we have another class called citrus fruit which will inherit the arguments and instances from uh, the first and second classes which called fruit and fruit name df init self and season and the color and the name which are the instances of our last classes super we will use super as we used in early lecture of our course about single inheritance or one time inheritance or uh, a class inherit from another one class only super dot double underscore in it double underscore self and season and the color super dot underscore uh, double underscore in it un uh, double underscore self and name and we will add df rubber method uh, will uh, which will take uh, self instance to rent out our instances return f citrus fruit self season self name and self color let's try to run the our code then we will create an object called fruit one equal citrus fruit winter for season lemon for name yellow for color we will get type error why because in single inheritance or one time inheritance we use super but we can't use super in multiple inherit which we will make our class citrus fruit will inherit instances and the arguments from class fruit and the class fruit name 
so we will use the classes names as follow class citrus fruits fruit and fruit name df double underscore in it double underscore self and season and the color and the name fruit dot under double underscore in it double underscore self season and the color fruit double underscore in it double underscore self and the name then we will add our rubber class to print out our instances let's try this code then we will create our object as we created last time then we will call the tetrad fruits we will get that tetrad fruits is the main of the our class or the name of our class and when we run our object fruit one we will get citrus fruit winter yellow and lemon hope you enjoy this lecture thank you for watching see you next lecture bye bye overriding overriding in python when a subclass contains a method that overrides a method of the sub superclass of the superclass you can also Call the superclass method by calling super open parenthesis subclass and self close parenthesis method instead of self dot method. And suppose we have a, a class called skills. Class skills in camel case. df we will define the init method to refer class to the init and self df double underscore init double underscore self and bus If we have another method called msg refer to message have the same instance self and will print a specific message as follow df msg print So you have the skills. Shift and enter. If we want to overwrite this message, we will use overriding in another class called class HR. Class HR. Yes. underscore in it self column enter super hr and self dot double underscore in it double underscore enter df msg self brand
good luck another time you don't have the skills needed so we have update this uh, define method msg from so you have the skills to good luck another time you don't have the skills needed if we have an object called communication equal h r shift and enter so communication dot msg shift and enter good luck another time you don't have the skills needed when we call when we call msg define method throw the object communication it will print the last message over reading the first message thank you for watching see you next lecture we will talk about more advanced object oriented programming we know early in this uh, course the regular types of uh, methods which has self instance or any instance but not without instance like the methods we will talk about today which are at class method and at static method we call uh, them as decorators and we use them to make more readable and easy to read code uh, suppose we have class called my class definition class uh, class my class df or def df or definition method self return instance is here self and self at class method definition class method cls return class method is here and cls at static method df static method return static method is here only without any instance so what's the difference between regular and at class method the difference that we can access class state and object instance or change them in regular methods but in add class method we can access and use the class state only but not the object instance which is self we use decorator to make our code easily readable as i told you if we suppose that object equal my class and object dot method will give us that instance is here as a part of, of my class object.class method will give us class method is here static object.static method will give us static method is here my class dot class method class method is here and this is a part of our class but static method is not part of our class as it uh, can't access the object instance or the class state my class static method my class dot static method will give us uh, we will get uh, static method is here my class will give us that my class is the main of my class or part of my class my class dot method when we try to run my class dot method we will get type error our method has a missing one requirement required positional argument which is self let's try another example for our uh, lesson today class fruit definition in it self and fruit self dot fruit equal fruit def rubber self return f fruit and self dot fruits add class method df cetrus 
CLS instance return CLS lemon and orange and tangerine plus method DIF grabs CLS instance return CLS green grabs and red grabs static method DF season return citrus fruit in winter grapes fruit in summer when we run fruit.citrus we will get fruit lemon orange and tangerine fruit.grapes we will get green grapes and red grapes but when we run the fruit.season we will get citrus fruit in winter and grapes fruit in summer so a static method at static method is uh, apart from our fruit class thank you for watching hope you enjoy this lecture and understand thank you again bye bye we will discuss at property decorator built in decorator at property Python add property is built in Decorator used to change our class methods or attributes so that the user of our class doesn't need to make any change in their code. Example, class fruit, df double underscore init double underscore self and the name and the color column, then an instantiation of uh, self to our attributes name self dot name equal name self dot color equal color then add self dot fruit type equal self dot name plus has plus uh, self dot color plus color citrus equal fruit lemon and yellow print citrus dot name and print citrus dot color and print citrus dot fruit type. We will get from the last code lemon yellow. Lemon has yellow color. Okay, but when we add citrus dot name equal orange, print citrus dot name and print citrus dot color, we will get orange and yellow. The name attributes got it changed, but the sentence that was created by fruit type attributes remains same as it was said during the initialization of citrus object so we will use python functions to solve above problem uh, class fruit column df double underscore in it double underscore open bracket self and name and, and the color close bracket column self dot name equal name self dot color equal color and we will cancel the third line fruit type initialization uh, for now and you change it to a function called fruit type df fruit type self return self dot name plus has and self plus uh, self color plus color citrus equal fruit lemon and yellow print citrus dot name print citrus dot color print citrus dot fruit type method Citrus dot name equal orange print citrus dot name print citrus dot color. Let's run our code. We will get lemon yellow. Lemon has yellow color, orange and yellow. It is solved, but we have removed the fruit type attributes from the constructor and add a method named fruit type. So now in our class, there is no attributes named fruit type, and we have a method named fruit type. And when any user use our class, will be in trouble as they have to replace all attributes fruit type with a function called fruit type. Assume we have long code who has lots of lines. Then how extremely difficult it will be for the coder how extremely difficult it will be for the coder so we will solve this problem using the Python property decorator as following add property df fruit type underscore type self column returns 
سيلف دوت نيم بلس ذا سترينج هاز بلس سيلف كالر بلس ذا سترينج كالر سو ذا كود ويل بي اس فولوينج كلاس فروت كولوم دي اف دبل اندر سكور اني دبل اندر سكور اوبن براكت سيلف اند نيم اند كالر كلوز براكت كولوم سيلف دوت نيم ايكوال نيم سيلف دوت سيلف دوت كالر ايكوال كالر اند وي كانسل ذا ثيرد لاين سيلف دوت فروت تايب اد بروبرتي دي اف فروت اندر سكور تايب اوبن براكت سيلف كلوز براكت كولوم return itself dot name plus string of space has space plus self dot color plus open parenthesis space color close parenthesis citrus equal fruit lemon and yellow print citrus dot name print citrus dot color print print uh, citrus dot fruit underscore type citrus dot name equal orange with uh, o capital citrus dot color equal orange with o small for color print citrus dot name print citrus dot color print citrus dot uh, fruit uh, underscore type and when we run our code we will get lemon yellow lemon has yellow color orange 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 has orange color thank you for watching see you next lecture bye